Hey, what's up, girlies? Hi, sunflowers. Hi, new viewers. It's your girl, India Zuri, and I am back with another video. This time, I'm going to give you some ways to romanticize your life, honey. It's more than a social media trend. Let's start off with a affirmation. I am fully connected to my mind, body, and soul. So I always know what's best for me. Let's glow. So romanticizing your life, though it's become a social media trend, is largely centered around finding joy, love, and peace within yourself. It's the process of structuring not only your days and routines, but how you see the world so that you're always putting yourself in the path of beauty and luxury. And what better time of the year to begin practicing that than now? May, May, May. May is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful month. The start of summer. So, I mean, get your hot girl summer on, okay? romanticize your life okay so first you gotta learn to appreciate the good things in your life take steps to make those good things even better aka when you start romanticizing your life you could train yourself to notice the good that's already there you can improve your daily mood and even improve the quality of your life so i'm gonna give you 12 ways yes 12 ways 12 hacks 12 ways 12 steps yes yes come on let's go number one hydrate elegantly with infused water this is an easy hack but one that can be too easy to let slide turn your hydration into a spa experience by adding cucumbers fruit to your water lemons i always feel elegant when i drink cucumber water or lemon water you know plus it's delicious so i drink more and it's a win and it's healthy for your body to consistently be drinking water so girls get to drinking some water number two go on a photo walk Ugh, i love I really enjoy going on photos walks so this is what you do you take your camera or your phone and go for a walk looking for things to photograph the possibilities are endless you can go to a city and take pictures of the architectural the people go out into the woods and take pictures of nature around you this is what me and my friend do when we go travel together we take pictures of everything we go on a walk when we're walking downtown or commuting to another spot that we want to um dine at or <laughs> visit we always take pictures of the landscapes the buildings everything look at something with an eye to photograph it it helps you see it with new eyes and appreciate the wonders that are all around you there is so much beauty in the world number three spend 15 minutes with a self-love meditation <sighs> 15 minutes is a long time i know you're saying that but at least start off with like five minutes and then go up to 15 minutes. Romanticize your life is all about loving yourself, your life at the present moment. A guided meditation will relax you and put you in a dreamy mood so that you can really focus on just how awesome you truly are. You're so awesome. I'm awesome. Yeah, yeah, I'm awesome. Okay. <laughs> at least once a year although once a quarter it's probably better treat yourself to the best day you can imagine make a plan for a day that includes all your favorite ways to spend time you could decide you want to wake up late enjoy your coffee in bed and then head out for a walk and a massage or go shopping you know do anything you know just have fun live your life 
And number five, drive for the sake of driving. This is a beautiful thing. I've never tried this, but I'm going to be trying this this weekend. Is it just me or taking a drive will totally, totally upgrade you, okay? It's an upgraded form of therapy. I have been told that it can help you short out so much in your head by driving. That's what, I, that's what I've heard, that driving helps some people sort out their issues until they get to their they destination. So try it. Drive for the sake of driving, okay? I'm going to try it too this weekend. Number six, upgrade your loungewear. Yes. Yes. Go get you some Scams loungewear. Go get you some Fenty Savage. I just bought me some Skims undergarments and they are awesome. <laughs> Shout out to Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Do you have a habit of falling asleep in your high school soccer shirt? <laughs> Do you put on any old pair of shorts and call it good? Invest in quality sleepwear. It doesn't have to be expensive, but it definitely makes a difference. Sometimes I just like to put on lingerie just to put on lingerie. Yes, I do. I have all kind of lingerie just for myself, and I get in my bed with my lingerie. <laughs> I know TMI, but that's what I do. I romanticize my life. Number seven, join a CSA. It's a great way to get a fresh, farm-grown veggies and to support your local community. Plus, who doesn't love pretty products? Pretty produce i mean <laughs> your girl be getting products and produce mixed up okay number eight connect with yourself first in the morning before you grab your phone or speak to anyone look inward this is what i do every day whether that's journaling meditating and simply sitting in a quiet for a few minutes or you can just cite some affirmations i have some awesome affirmations for you to use to you know say in the morning so every moment of my life is magical i am so blessed every day is an incredible page of my life story and i am the main character i can defy all odds let me say that again I can defy all odds. My life is a miracle. I am a miracle. I am one of a kind. I am indefinitely grateful that I get to experience life. Life is a blessing, you know. I embrace all that I am and y'all should embrace all that y'all are. Just embrace yourself, love yourself. Set your mind on positivity, what you want to do for today. Just do you, just have a fun, just romanticize your life. You know, just live it up. Number nine, go on an adventure. Spring is the perfect time for road trips and spontaneous getaways. Brainstorm a trip you want to take with yourself yourself or you can bring your bestie i guess you could bring her um, i mean i got besties you know whether that's going camping or planning a staycation in your city make it special and remember that doesn't have to mean expensive it doesn't but ain't nothing wrong with a little dom fairy on okay <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little down there. Now. I look, you know, I'm thinking about getting that for my friend for her birthday. We'll see if we can find it. But um, I want some down there. Okay. Number 11, use the nice stuff. That bottle of wine you've been saving. That good china gifted to you from your grandma. The dress you've been keeping for a special occasion. 
drink it, use it, wear it. Don't wait for a perfect moment. The moment is now, honey. It's now, okay? Number 11. I think I got mixed up, but okay. Disconnect. Unplug from your social medias. I do this a lot. I like to disconnect your emails your phone all together put that thing on do not disturb put that phone on there schedule an hour a day or a one day a week where you totally without your technology this is very 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 good just spend time with yourself you know read a book don't use any technology that would be great for you to use Okay, I think I have one more. Okay, set the mood for dinner. So, you know, make yourself a dinner, turn down the lights, buy yourself some flowers, turn up your favorite vibey, wavy playlist and make a meal just for you. Like I said, cook for yourself. Buy you some flowers. Go to Trader Joe's and get you some flowers. And just bask in your own audience. Is that how you say it? <laughs> your audience. Okay. I have to get proper, okay? There is a plethora of things that you can do other than the 12 things I told y'all. You know, you could write yourself letters. You can, you know make a coffee table aesthetic you can do many things you can shake up your sex routine you know you can read on everything you can live the life okay romanticizing your life is a form of mindfulness it might help you find the magic in the mundane moments you are the main character you are the main character of your story romanticize your life goes hand in hand with the main character energy this means to imagine your life as a movie you are the main character like i said okay why you should romanticize your life many of us suffer from negative bias this means we pay more attention to the bad things that happen to us more than the good things in our lives However, focusing on the negative part of our lives can lead to harmful consequences. We can start to avoid risks that make our lives better because we are too afraid of the possibility of failure. We can become depressed about how bad we perceive our lives to be, okay? And when you feel down, I want you to say some affirmations just read the affirmations i'm gonna give you some more affirmations for y'all okay to romanticize your life i am the best version of myself i am the best version of myself i have arrived everything i desire is here i have arrived everything i desire is here repeat each one of these affirmations three times my dreams become my reality anything is possible i love this one my dreams become my reality anything is possible i am indefinitely grateful for all i have i am indefinitely grateful for all i have i acknowledge that i am here and now and this is my moment this is your moment. This is your moment. This is your moment, girls. Just breathe in love, gratitude, and joy. Love, gratitude, and joy. You know, amazing things constantly flow into my life. That's another one you could use. I use that a lot. Amazing things constantly flow into my life. Just know that you are exactly where you need to be and just live in peace and love because life is so short. I don't know if you know my story, but go back and look at some of my other videos on my YouTube page.
page. I have overcome a lot of adversity and it made me realize that I need to be helping women and people all the world appreciate their life and live with love and peace. Never take your life for granted because life can be taken for you from you just like this. And so appreciate life, love, live. It's your girl, India Zerby, Audi.